Going to court can be a nerve-wracking experience, especially when it's your first time. Flack have put together a series of videos to guide people through the basic steps of going to court. This video will help you understand the more practical questions you may have when you're in court, like who's in the courtroom and how do you dress? Who will you find in the court? At the top of the room, you will find the judge. In front of the judge sits the registrar or court clerk who assists the judge. There will sometimes be a stenographer who records everything that is said in court. You may see a barrister who is a lawyer who speaks in court and faces the judge. And you will see a solicitor who is also a lawyer who consults with and represents the client. Help is available in the courts. In the district court, the court clerk will help you find and file the right forms. In the circuit court, just ask for the county registrar, who will give you the same assistance. People often wonder what they should wear when they're going to court. You should dress smart but remain comfortable. Full length sleeves should be worn, as well as full length trousers. You should dress in a way that shows that you respect the court and the people who work there. That was an example of how you shouldn't dress in court. Let's take a look at a better approach. What do you need to bring when you're going to court? You should bring all documents already submitted to the court with you. Some extra copies might also be useful. Where will your hearing be? There may be a reception or information desk when you enter the court where you can ask where the case is being heard. Otherwise, ask for the court clerk or county registrar or approach a Garda. In some courts, there is a list of cases printed and put up in a public area. In family law cases, the names of the parties will not be shown. Instead, the record number or file number of the case and the party's initials will be written on the court documents. How do you address the judge? When speaking to the judge, always address him or her as judge, never as your honour. That wasn't right. Let's try that again. Excuse me, judge. Can you interrupt the judge at any stage? You must always allow the judge or other party to finish speaking. This is the general rule. If the judge has moved on very quickly to another subject, then you can interrupt them if it's very important. You must remember to address them correctly, of course, after they've come to the end of their sentence. It is for this reason that I order that 100 euro in maintenance be paid to the plaintiff every week until the child has finished education. Now, regarding the family's home. You should never interrupt the judge mid-sentence. Let's see the correct way to get your point across. It is for this reason that I order that 100 euro in maintenance be paid to the plaintiff every week until the child has finished education. Now, regarding the family home, I order that the property be sold and that proceeds of sale be divided in equal shares. Pardon, Judge, may I interrupt you very briefly, please? So, the most important thing is not to get overwhelmed by appearing in court. Keep a cool head and a respectful attitude to everyone you meet. If you have any questions, you can get basic information from FLAC for free and in confidence on our telephone information line or in one of our legal advice centres. Check out our website for a centre near you. For more basic information on going to court, check out our video guides to court procedures and court documents on our YouTube channel or on the FLAC website.
Remember, these videos are not able to cover every aspect of this topic, and you may still have some further questions. Feel free to contact FLAC, where one of our information providers may be able to answer your query.